the differences in the bloodlines. We about to go deep, deep, deep in this video. And as I said in a notification, um, for those who don't believe in the serpent seed doctrine, this video is not for you. If you don't believe in cloning, this video is not going to make sense to you. If you don't believe that everybody is not human, then this video will not make sense to you. I'm very prayed up, very studied up as always. And I want to bring this back um, for an updated video because I haven't spoke about the DNA, you know, in a long time. And a lot of people say, well, the Bible is not really clear on DNA. It don't speak a lot about DNA. You know, they listen to everything scientists say. But we're going to um, go a little deep. And I got my scriptures up here and a few notes that I wanted to go back to and bring to the table. Uh, you're not going to get this type of teaching pretty much in many churches. Uh, a lot of people trying to figure out where we at now, but they didn't understand the beginning. So if you don't understand the beginning, you're not going to understand where we at now. And you're really not going to understand what's to come. And you got to understand that this battle that we are fighting is not against flesh and blood, as Ephesians 6 and 12 teaches us. This battle is against principalities, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in high places. So notice in my background, I got a few of the blood types back there, but not all of them. Now, you ever wonder why? I was just telling my mom this. They always told us to keep up with our social security social security number or your ID or when you start driving your driver's license number. But how many times did they tell us to keep up with our blood type? Or do you even know your blood type? Or how many parents know their kids' blood type but the parents don't know their own blood type? And we may say, well, it's not really important, but I'm going to show you why it's important if you keep with me in this video. But once again, you got to understand that everybody is not human, you know. Now, if you know your blood type, that's good. I'm O positive. But we're going to get off in this RH in a minute. But. We know from studying, they taught us all this in school. You know, you got the four main blood groups, types of blood. You got A, B, A, B, O, you know. But then when you keep on researching, each group can either, you know, be either R, H, D, positive, or R, H, D, negative. Which mean when you add them up, I said four, but when you understand what I'm saying, somebody gonna say, JT, you sound like a doctor in this video. You're gonna have a total of eight. Cause you got the A positive, A negative, B positive, B negative, O positive, O negative, A and B positive, A and B negative. Now, once you understand this so far, what I'm saying, this is why you gotta realize everybody is not a human. Now, this is why I'm about to make a lot of people mad at, but not to make you mad intentionally. But I'm going to ask you a question that you probably don't know either. Who was it mom and daddy laid down with? Mm. This is a deep video, y'all, if you can feel me. Who did they lay down with? This sounds crazy to some people because some people say, here you go with one of them old crazy videos again. But if you, if you start doing research and tied in with what the Bible shows us and why does the devil always try to corrupt the bloodline, even with the animals, then it makes so much sense. We are living in this world with the devil seed. But once again, excuse me, a lot of people, Sister Tracy, they don't believe in the, in the serpent seed doctrine. But it's too much proof in the Bible to show us what really happened. And I'm not talking about the biting of an apple. Forget about that fairy tale teaching they taught you growing up in most of these church buildings. Because when you study deeply, it wasn't nothing about that. You have to understand the Bible was not wrote 
and English. So certain words have more than one meaning, just like apple is also referred to sex. You know, when you catch what Eve was truly saying, the serpent beguiled me, which also means seduce. He was pleasant to my eyes. But we have been taught all wrong, my brothers and sisters. Now, you don't have to agree with me or not in this video. It's fine. I'm expecting a whole lot of people to put a thumbs down and disagree, but I only, I'm only i only expecting a few to really catch what I'm saying in this video. Now, think about when people have a blood transfusion. Let's, 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 let's take it there for a moment. And it's probably going to be a long video because I'm going to really, really take my time with this. If you don't know what type of blood teach Holy Spirit that they putting in your system, and you wonder why certain people had their blood transfusion and they died from it, or what happened with the blood, well, think about everything we just talked about so far. What really is going on? Does everybody does is everybody compatible? <laughs> no. Is everybody human? No. Not at all. DNA shows us that everybody is not human. Our Savior said that it will be just like the days of Noah before his return. Now, one thing that should stick out that the Bible shows us is in Genesis 3 and 15, when the Most High said he was going to put enmity in between the woman's seed and the serpent seed, which means serpent seed. Now, once again, we know that seed has more than one meaning. But seed also means offspring. Some people say, well, the devil can't produce. You know, the devil couldn't do this, the devil, the devil, that. Well, I always ask people this question. How, how is it you can believe that the fallen angels off the book of Enoch called them the watchers? They came down like the Bible says in Genesis 6. They made it with the daughters of men. And then all of a sudden there came the giants. How you can believe that? But then the highest ranking angel, which is the cherubim, which was the devil, you don't want to believe that. That's a question I always ask. Because he is an angel of light. How else do you explain the way those giants looked when you're taking somebody that's not all the way human and mixing them with somebody that's human? What else do you expect to happen? You got to catch that. And then you wonder why they come out with all these movies and stories, things like Little Mermaid, or you hear people talking about water spirits, or they may use the name marine spirits. Same thing. We covered all that on here also, too. But we have to understand what we are living in. Let me, let me, let me pull that scripture up. Because there were giants before and after the flood. Genesis 3 and 15 says, and I will put enmity between you and the woman's seed and between your seed and her, you know, her, her, her head shall bruise your, your, her heel shall bruise your head. Bruise your heel. Enmity means hatred. So why did God say, I'm going to put hatred between the devil's seed and the woman's seed? Well, I taught on this a long time ago, but there is something that's not new under the sun also called super for condemnation, which means it has already happened and been proven that a woman can sleep with a man and another man and become pregnant. It's already been done. And one child can be by this man and another child can be by the other man. It's already proven. I know somebody like this. And then you wonder later on why why Eve came back and said, like, I, I got a man from the Lord. I got what did she get from the Lord? And then put a pen right there. Ever wonder why 
Cain is not mentioned in Adam's genealogy. Now, in the Old Testament, it's very important to list who begot who, who is the son of who, especially with a firstborn son, because that shows you, just like the prodigal son, who your inheritance really go to. Cain is not mentioned because Cain was of Satan. People don't agree with that. That's fine. Bible shows it. Even Christ called them the devil's children. Even Christ knew who they were. You know, Christ always knew who they were. He recognized the serpent seed. Well, how do we also know who are the wheat and who are the tares? That's why he said, let the wheat and the tares grow together, because at harvest time, he's going to do the separating. He wasn't, if you can break down the symbols, the symbols, he wasn't talking about real wheat. <laughs> he was talking about children. The seed. If you're from the country and you go out in the field, you look at a wheat and you look at weed or tear, in the beginning, early processes, you can't even really tell them apart because why? They look just alike. You may pull up the wrong one and say, I got the right one. And nope, that's not it because that's how close they look alike. And he used that to teach us. But so many people, when they read that, thinking corner minded, really believe, okay, they're going to go out in the field and, and you know, they're looking at the weeds and the tear. No, it's, it's showing us the way the way our Savior teaches so awesome. That's why all the stuff I'm saying now, right now, is not going to make sense to a corner minded person. And keep in mind also that the Bible says Satan has blinded the minds of the unbelievers. So if your mind is blinded, there is no need to me trying to convince to you what I'm saying in this video. That's why I said, if you don't understand the, the, the cloning and the serpent seed doctrine and the stuff I said at the beginning of the video, this video will not make sense to you. And if you have never studied on this stuff, it's definitely not going to make, make sense to you. Now, we talked about the, the enmity, that hatred. Now, in Leviticus 19 and 19, I want you to look at this because you may have read it, but never thought about it. And once again, if you don't agree with JT in this video, that's fine. I'm not going to call you an unbeliever for not understanding, it, especially if you are ignorant of it or never studied, or even if you have studied on it and don't agree with me, that's fine. I'm not going to have no fallout with you. Leviticus 19 and 19 says, you shall keep my statutes. You should not let your livestock breed with another kind. You should not sow your seed. Excuse me. You should not sow your field with mixed seed. Mm. Nor shall a garment of mixed linen and wool come upon you. Now you got to ask yourself, was he only talking about livestock breeding with another kind? Sowing in your field with mixed seed. Was he really talking about farming in that sense? Or was he talking about your seed, your children, you, your offspring? Have you ever thought about that reading that scripture? Or do you take it in the sense of it never was talking about seed as an offspring? Think about that. Now, even in Noah's day, let's let's go back to that for a moment. What happened to the animals? Mm. The DNA got mixed. Let's go back a little further. Job spoke about pretty much you could say dinosaurs back in chapter Job. In the chapter of Job 40, I believe. If you understand that, then you understand that the Most High did not create dinosaurs. The fallen angels did that. That's why the Most High destroyed the dinosaurs. 
people don't believe that that stuff was really here. It's proof. It's proof. But even right now, the mixing of animals have never stopped. We'll get into that a little bit later. But I'm going to tie this in also with, I'm taking my time, y'all. Teach Holy Spirit. This is why my people get so mad at me when I talk about the presidents. The video I done called Presidents Are Not Selected. I mean, they are not elected. They are selected. Excuse me. People got mad at me in that video. Email me all kind of crazy stuff. Call me all kind of crazy names. That's fine. I get I get that on a daily basis. But even Franklin, Franklin D. Roosevelt said presidents are selected, not elected. And when you trace the bloodline, come on, come on, bring it home, Holy Spirit, of the presidents, they are related. Cousins, father, son, grandfather, grandson, you know, this, you know the story. And if you trace that bloodline, you're going to go all the way back to King who? I'll let y'all answer that. So all this stuff makes sense. As my old folk would say, if you line all your duckings up in the row, you will see this come together. But only a few people are going to really believe it or understand it. While we keep going out fighting and, and protesting and marching, this is Satan is the God of this world. Most people don't understand that. Satan is the prince of the power of the earth. Adam was in control. Adam lost his authority. Y'all hear me in my old video? I said Adam had it, lost it. The devil took it over. Christ going to redeem it back. Because once he broke fellowship with the Most High and sin took place, we've been falling ever since. That's why Paul said the sin from one man we all are stuck in the middle because of what happened in the beginning. Whether you want to believe it or not. That's why the Most High told Eve what her punishment was. Your husband is going to rule over you. And you're going to, I'm going to multiply your pain in childbirth. So the Most High multiplies the, the woman in pain. But what do the world do? The world, when you go in the hospital, they'll ask you, do you want me to give you this? where you won't feel the baby coming out. You need a C-section or let me hit you with this epidural shot. What's in that stuff? When it can almost paralyze you if you put too much in you. But God say for your sin, here is pain. And this world system say, let's take away pain. You ever wonder why this system is always for abortions. Hmm. God say be fruitful and multiply. But he was talking about between husband and wife. This world system comes with birth control. Listen at the name alone. Birth control. Why? Because they want to depopulate. I hope they let this video go through. They are always talking about we are too crowded. So they are always trying to find a way to depopulate. That's why so many have been killed off. A lot have. So when you understand this, whoo, let's go deep. <laughs> RH. Here we go. Y'all been asking me to do a video about this for a long time. From studying in the US, it was approximately, I remember reading this a long time ago, 85%, Sister Frankie, of the population, RH, positive blood type, which leaves about 15% RH negative. Now, this is where it's going to get deep at. Each person has two RH factors in their genetics come from each parent. 
That's why I said at the beginning, uh oh, who have we all laid down with? Hmm. The only way for somebody to have a negative blood type is for both parents to have at least one negative factor. Hmm. Think about that. I had to I had to pull that back up in my notes. That that right there alone is deep because it's, it make you question. Hey, who was my mama married to? Or what did what did my mama truly you know truly lay down with? Or what did my daddy lay down with? Or it make you ask yourself, man, I ain't wicked, am I? Or did I come from? Who did I come from? This is what a lot of people do right now, even to this day, you know. But I want to go back. Well, let me let me slow down because I'm, I'm looking at my scriptures up here. This stuff, this stuff is happening right now, y'all. Cause see, these these demons, the wicked, the wicked is so slick. And if you don't recognize these fallen ones. They are easily marry uh oh into the family. I'm gonna go ahead and take it there. They marry into the family. And when they marry in and get that woman pregnant, here come the child. Here come that mixture. I know somebody sitting up saying, "Dang, JT, I didn't. I, I really don't know who my mama laid down with." This is why it's so important not to sleep around with everybody. Matthew twenty-four. Let, let, let me pull that back up because I can't teach this without saying this. I'm gonna go back to Matthew twenty-four, uh, verses thirty-seven through thirty-nine. Catch this. But as the days of Noah were, so also will the coming of the Son of Man be. For as in the days before the flood, they was doing what? Eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage. Until the day that Noah entered the ark. Verse 39 says, and did not know until the flood came and took them all the way. Woo. So also will the coming of the Son of Man be. See, growing up, preachers hooped and hollered so much. Talking about Noah preached 120 years, then he do it, and they was hooping and hollering the sermon, but a lot of them preachers didn't break down. Who was doing this? The average person that read the Bible and say, okay, they was eating and drinking and marrying and they wasn't human. <laughs> this is what the watchers done. They was partying. They was eating, drinking. They was marrying. Remember Genesis 6 already said that they, they took the daughters of men. They had sex with them. And then along came the giants. This is what happened. And then Leviticus, I want to say this around, around Leviticus 13, Bags it up telling you, don't sleep with an animal. What do we call it nowadays? Bestiality. In the Old Testament, in the Old Covenant, in the, new, in the, in the Old Agreement, excuse me, he said if any, any man lay down with that beast, let that beast and that man both be put to death and their blood should be upon their head. Scripture. Why was that road in Leviticus? Because it had already happened. That's an abomination. What do you see people posting nowadays all the time? Bestiality. I remember a while back, somebody sent me a picture of this, this woman bent over trying to let a horse stick his thing in her. Now, you know how long a horse Come on now. That's wicked. That's an abomination. That's the stuff the most high be talking about when he say it's a it's a disgusting thing. 
But everything the Bible says don't do, this world system trying to legalize it and say it's okay. They call all the wrong right. Because that's Satan's system. If you are a child of the king, you must go against this system. Teach Holy Spirit. Now, RH negative is what the world continues to talk about. Or you may hear people say they think that's an alien, you know. But I always say aliens, if you want to use the term alien, aliens ain't nothing but just the, the watchers. Remember in the book of Jude, some were chained down. But the Bible never said all of them were chained down. So what do you really think happened in Sodom and Gomorrah? Do you think all them in Sodom and Gomorrah was human? Remember the most I sent those angels, those two angels? Those angels was in the form of a man, male. And they wanted to rape the male angels. That's why when you see people doing all this wicked, crazy stuff, and you wonder why they have no heart, no repentance, no conviction, they not all the way human. They're not human. But you sit there talking about pray for them. No. The wicked don't have a chance at getting in the kingdom. They have already made their decision. Now, this always negative. Once again, you hear about this. I used to work with a brother a long time ago. He said, my blood type is RH negative, JT. I don't suppose to be here. I don't belong to this world. He would always say that. And I would look at his actions. He would always be sick. He would always be talking about the earth. He would always have nightmares. And he had a real bad sinus injection problem. Didn't think about nothing about that back then. Uh, I, I mean, if I knew what I would have known later back then, I would have put two and two together. But I wouldn't study it up like I am now. But he would say, I don't, I don't suppose to be here. I feel like an alien. Now, the devil know these things. And the devil uses this stuff against us. Most people, when they, when they, this, this is how you know if you ever study deeply what, what, what I'm saying. A lot of people that's very pretty, I ain't talking about everybody. You ever hear some dude, let me talk to the men for a minute. When you say, she's so fine, she's so pretty. She got pretty eyes. She got pretty lips. She got a small nose, small teeth. All of that is pretty much showing you RH negative in so many ways because it's a difference in the way they look. But it's only a few people that can recognize that. You know, so it's a difference in their eyes. It's a difference in their teeth. It's a difference. But if you're not studied up, you're going to say, JT, I disagree with you. You know? And that's why the eyes is so dangerous. And a lot of them have those haughty eyes. Men, fellas, how many times have you ever caught eyes with a woman and she pretty much got you off her eyes alone because she was staring at you a certain way? Of course, you was looking at her body too, but your eyes connected with her eyes is dangerous. It's dangerous, ain't it? And you might be fooling with somebody that's got that type of bloodline. And then you have sex. And next thing you know, once again, here come the child. This even from studying, according to what blood type you are, 
the research shows you why so many people have low blood pressure. And then, then of course, why a lot of people have, you know, the, the high blood pressure. But it's not too many people going to talk about this. And I'm, I'm going to tell you something. Our Savior truly supposed to came through Eve. But what happened? People ask me all the time, why, why didn't he, why didn't he come through Eve? Because what happened to Eve? Now, once again, like I said, you can believe the biting of the apple, but not me. I was sick of hearing that fairy tale growing up. So actually, Mary done what Eve supposed to have done. How many of y'all ever noticed why you hear people talk about the second Adam? You ever, have you ever studied on that? Or why is Christ called this? Or, you know, why is Christ called the son of David? We all know where David, what tribe David was from. But Mary was pure. And keep in mind, back in Mary in them days, in Joseph days, you could have been put to death. But the angel spoke. And Mary was okay. Can you imagine Joseph? What 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 was his mind thoughts? Impregnated by the Holy Spirit. People call us crazy for just even believing that. But see, you can't even really explain the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is too powerful to explain. The Holy Spirit don't need our approval to do anything, never have, never will. So if he chose Mary and the Bible say that's what happened. I believe it. Corner minded people would never understand what I'm saying here. But the devil wanted to keep Christ from coming. Keep in mind the devil was more close with the father than you and I ever been. Think about that. So when you keep adding all this in together, I know this video is going to scare a lot of people because now everybody finna go, if they don't know, they finna go Google, they going to go try to Google what in the hell is my blood type. And then you wonder why relatives don't get along. Or <laughs> uh, so many parents don't get along with their children. See, this is way deeper than what I'm talking about, y'all. I'm trying to explain this the best way I can, but I know this video is going to go over a lot of people's head. But I'm studied up on it and been, been studied up on it for years, but I, I just want to do a little bit more research before I present it to you with this video. But even like I was saying in the animals, at first, you know the most I said, what, what, what he made was good. But at first, the animals didn't have no sin. They didn't have no sin at all. But after the fallen ones done what they done, that's why the most High destroyed it with a flood. But once again, water does not kill spirits. That's why there was giants before and after the flood. It's in your it's in the Bible. Read it. That's why when they went over there and spied on the land and came back talking about, man, we like grasshoppers to them because they were so huge. Some people say Goli Goliath wasn't a giant. Some people say he was according to what they believe. But that, uh, Goliath had brothers. And then I can also say Giant don't also it don't always mean tall, you know, because it got different meanings. But in the sense of what we talking about, tall. Even when the scientists and everybody did their research, they was finding them big old skulls back in the day, and they would put them them skulls and all them bones beside a eighteen wheeler, a diesel, and you know how long that is. Just let's just say a fifty six footer. 
it made the diesels look short. Which mean and they were standing tall. People ask me, this is another good point I want to bring up. A lot of people ask me, do I believe all the NBA players are human? No, I don't. I do believe some of them are giants. I ain't talking about all of them. It's not just NBA players, it's just because a lot of them are so tall, seven feet, you know, seven feet and up. But even if they're not tall, tall, we got to remember the offspring. So that's why celebrities, some of your rappers, judges, police officers, whatever you want to name, everybody not human. The Bible is clear on this. How we know once again? Because we are living in the days of Noah. If, if he said that's how it was going to be, we just read the scripture in Matthew 24. If he said that's how it was going to be before the return, that's how it was then. That's how it is now. Now you can try to argue with Matthew 24 verses 37 through 39, but the Savior said that which was letting us know, once again, everybody is not human. Mm. Now, like I was about to say about the animals, have you ever studied, or oh, just on your own time, Brother Rain? Look up a liger. I'm pretty sure you already have, Brother Rain. L-I-G-E-R. What is that? <laughs> Sound like tiger, but liger. Why is it named liger? Because mm, a tiger was involved. What do you have right there is a mixture from a male lion and a female tiger. Uh-oh. That have sex and they produce a liger. Google it. Look it up. and Look at how big they get. That liger grows bigger than the mama and the daddy because it's a mixture of a lion and a tiger. All this is facts, what I'm giving you. Google it. Look it up. And they can reproduce. They already done it. So this this is this. This is why you also got to remember why did the Most High wipe out all those other animals except the ones he said take two by two. Because the rest of the animals, they was tampered with. Hmm. Mess with. So what you see going on right now, a lot of hybrids, in RH negative blood. Now let me, let me talk to the ladies for a moment, because this gonna blow your mind if you if you're not familiar with it. The reason why we we exposing this and talking about this RH, even in hospitals, they have tried to switch. I ain't gonna say try, they have done it. Mixed up some stuff. And now you don't know who your child came from. Somebody gonna call me crazy. Have you ever have you ever seen a mother try to really attack her unborn baby? Hmm. And then they gotta shoot that mother with some kind of shot, calm them down, or try to prevent them from killing that baby. Unborn child, ain't even her yet. What kind of, what kind of blood type did that mama have? Mm. Or better yet, who did that mama sleep with? Boy, this is real, y'all. Once again, everybody blood is not compatible. Now I want to read you this. Let me, let me let me get back to one of my scriptures. I want to pull up. Well, I should say two scriptures. Uh, First Corinthians, 
chapter 15, verses 38 to 39. This scripture goes over most people's head, too. This is Paul. He says, check this out. But God gives it a body as he pleases. And to each seed, its own body. But here, here, here you go right here. Y'all ready for it? All flesh is not the same flesh. Uh-oh. But there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of animals, another of fish, and another of birds. Mm. Mm. We pause on that for a minute. I'm going to let that one sink in. All flesh is not the same flesh. Who have we laid down with once again? If all flesh is not the same flesh, but there is one kind of flesh of men, another flesh of animals, another of fish, and another of birds. What do you what do you get from that? Hmm. Remember once again, bestiality is nothing new. It's nothing new. It happened back then. But once you look at this scripture. Now knowing that we all have these different blood types. So you meet old girl at the club that you think is so fine and she's RH negative. Now you got a baby by. What is your child going to be? Hmm. I, I, I pray to let this video go through. I, I know this is this is going over a lot of people's head, but then some people's head is not going over because they right here with me. They know what I'm talking about. See, if, if the Most High shows us this is a spiritual battle, then you must understand the spiritual realm and what's going on. It's some women right now cover their head because they fear of these things I'm talking about, of a fallen one trying to get them. I had a person on my page leave a, a comment the other day, say this is why my wife covers her head up. And people laugh at her. I mean, it ain't funny to me, you know why? Because she's coming from a biblical aspect and I understand what she mean. But how many people can really understand what she's saying if they ain't never studied on it. Look at that. That first Corinthians once again. All flesh is not the same flesh. That sticks out to me. Then God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over the livestock and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Then the Bible say, and God blessed them and God said to, to do what? Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth. Mm. Fill the earth. That's that's that right there alone should stick out in your mindset. Then you be like, then the most I also said replenish the earth. Why? Re means to do again. So what was actually here before? Oh, going, we're going too deep. That's why when you study, you should see the different earth ages. First earth age. Second earth age, earth age excuse me. Third earth age. I always say the first one is gone. We live it in the second one. And the third is what's to come. That's why you don't ever hear me say it's the end of the world. 
I say it's the end of the earth age. That's why they keep arguing about how old is the earth. But if you read what, what Second Peter is saying, he's not going to destroy the earth. He's going to destroy the elements of the earth. That's why he said the meek shall inherit the earth. I'm sorry, pre-tribbles. I know y'all flying away ahead of time with your pre-tribulation doctrine, but I don't teach that on here. Sorry. That's a false doctrine there. That's why John, the book of Revelation, says the old heaven shall pass away. The new holy city, the new Jerusalem is coming down to be with us. So you can miss me with the going in the clouds. I'll fly away. Go ahead, fly your way on up there. I want to be where he says he's coming. He said there won't be no more sunlight. You won't even need it because I'm your light. So much stuff we ain't even going to need no more because he is all of that. That's why he is Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. Teach Holy Spirit. Mm. So Adam, once again, lost it. That's why Satan, once again, is called the God of this world. The prince of the power of the air. Well, JT, I hear what you're saying, but the Bible just ain't clear about a lot of this DNA stuff you're talking about. Let me tell you something. DNA confirms the Bible, whether you want to believe that or not. See, we all know from studying, even in, in, in school, that we as men, we have the X and Y chromosome. But the females, ladies, y'all have the two the two X chromosomes, you know, that's why when you look at all this technology, I'm trying to wrap the video up now. I could go a little bit more deeper, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to hold up for, for um, might do a part two. But that's why when you study, you should understand some are born, some are produced. i give you an example. All of these gay people, and I mean this out of love, and if you just happen to be watching this video and you're gay, I love you. Enough to tell you the truth. Pray you come out of it. But it ain't no it ain't no hope for a lot of them, and I'm going to tell you why. You got gay people out here. They were not, you hear them all the time say, I was born this way. No, you what? You were created that way. Some are born, some are being produced. You don't have to agree with me, but if you study what I'm talking about, I guarantee you, you'll see what JT talking about. Being born and being produced is two different things. You don't think they had a technology to do it? Technology goes way over our head. Most of the stuff that you think is new is not new, my brothers and sisters. It's been going on. They may have just told you about it. Or even in, in my race of people, why you think back in the day they told us we came from monkeys? That never stuck with me when I was a child. I started asking all kind of questions. Of course, I didn't get a lot of answers. And then even some of my people started saying, you know what? Some of us, may, we, we, we did come from monkeys. See, all these questions, these, these things need to be taught. But like I say, most churches, you're gonna hear the hooping and hollering, you know, the 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 feel good sermons, you know, the taking up of the offering, the you know, the 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 building fund, the car wash, the bake sale, the fish fry, the hooping and hollering and all that stuff. But if, if they would just take time out to teach people what we teaching here, they would have a better understanding and, and wouldn't be so ignorant of, of where we at right now. So the question once again is, what is your blood type? Who have you laid down and had sex with? See, that's the part that shakes everybody up. And then you wonder why the Bible spoke about also a reprobated mind. I could tie that in with this. A reprobated mind means somebody who totally rejects God because they never was from God. 
some of them. I ain't going to say all of them. Why do you think? Oh, come on, teach Holy Spirit. Here you go. This is going to go over most people here, brother, people drawing, but I know you know what I'm talking about. Why do you think he also said in Matthew 7, on that day, Lord, did we not prophesy in our name? Then we not cast out demons in thy name. And what did the Bible say? He said, he gonna tell them, depart from me. Catch this. I never knew you, ye workers of iniquity. Hold on. Let that sink in. How is it the almighty who's Alpha and Omega, the beginning and end, who is the creator, why would he use such words as, I never knew you? And he's all-knowing. Have you ever thought about that when you read that scripture? Were they ever of the wheats? Or are they all along tares? Why do you say that, JT? Because Satan has many church buildings, many preachers, many deacons, many congregations, many musicians, many churches, period. And you thinking that they holy and they ain't got nothing to do with the Holy Spirit. But you've been there all your life paying your tithes question is, is your own pastor human? Is the first lady, as you call it, human? What's really on the music staff? So I know this video should make everybody truly examine themselves. Like I say, I understand if it don't make sense to a lot of people, but this RH Negative. If you talk to somebody long enough that tell you that's their blood type, even if they ain't talking that much, watch their actions. Hell, even E.T. wanted to go back home. E.T. couldn't even live on earth all, 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 all the rest of his life. I know that was just a movie, but was it just a movie? Somebody catch that later. We have to realize, y'all, who the enemy truly is. If he once again said this battle is not against flesh and blood, but of principalities, rulers of darkness, spiritual wickedness in what? High places. Who was in these high places? That's why Washington has always been demonized. And then, let me give you another tip. They they try to fool you with, are you Democratic or Republican? Is it really a difference? Hmm. I guarantee if you can if you can if you could pull the bloodline of most of those people, like we were saying about the presidents, I guarantee you, you would get a lot of RH negative. I guarantee you. But these are the things people don't talk about a lot. Only a few. These are the things people don't want to accept because they think everybody on this planet right now is human. Once again, the Bible shows you they're not all human. But if you don't believe in the Bible, why are you going to believe anything I'm saying? See, people keep trying to discredit the word all the time. But the word speaks for it, it interprets itself. A lot of people don't agree with the book of Enoch. I do. A lot of people don't, don't agree with the book of Jasher. I do. Now you ought to really get a good understanding on why these books were left out of the Bible. Why Enoch talked about the fallen angels and their name and what they taught mankind. How to make weapons, war, cosmetics for the ladies. On and on and on and on. The things that they taught. 
and 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 how they also tried to bargain with Enoch to ask them to ask for forgiveness from the father and it was far too late because they had already messed up the creation of what the most high had to come out right they turned it into, into wrongdoing which is mixing the dna not too many churches going to talk about the dna so it should make sense to you why Cain, once again, is of the devil. See, we saw Seth come along later on. Cain killed Abel. So Abel, oh, check this out. Thank you, Holy Spirit, as, I, as I'm wrapping this up. Abel, ooh. <laughs> Abel wasn't Abel. Abel never had a chance to even start his own family because he was murdered. Have you ever thought about that? And the way you stop a man and his generations is to, to kill that man. Because if that man never get to produce and have children, he won't even have family. Cain took Abel out. Abel didn't even get to have not one child. He slew his brother. I may do a part two later on and it may be called Where Did Cain Really Get His Wife From? Or mm. why in the Bible pretty much anything that ends with the word might It's dangerous to mess with. Canaanites. You know all these Ikes. Hitchites. You can name a, a, a line of them. But then you got to go back to Noah. Why did the Most High choose Noah once again? Because Noah's blood was pure. Noah had a pure bloodline. That's why my race of people, I'm going to ask y'all a question from teaching y'all. Y'all going to give me this answer. Do we come from Shem or him? So I may pronounce it Ham and Sham. You ask me, you know the answer. That's why they were called Shemites. Who is that? Who is that were called Shemites? I leave you with that. So give me some feedback on this video, whether you liked it or not. I take all criticism, and I, I can't just I just can't wait to see y'all comments. Because I know some of y'all are studied with this, studied up with this. But why is the RH negative always considered so dangerous? Now, you may be O positive, O negative. I don't know what yours are. But my mom was just, me and my mom was just talking about this. But like I say, I'm O positive. I'm O positive. My twin is O positive. My, old, my older brother is O positive. But my baby brother is O negative. But ain't none of us RH. And I'm not doing this video to down, down nobody that have RH. Most of the people I know that got RH, they down themselves. But some of us may not, may, may be watching this video, and you might not know who and what you are. But go find out. And I'll leave you with that. I love you. Y'all take care and have a wonderful, 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 blessed night. Shalom.